Now, tell us about when you well, realized. Well, I, I fell in love with the audience at four years old, tap dancing in the Ocean Avenue Elementary School. It was not the stage, it was the audience. I knew I couldn't get in trouble up there. And then um, I think when I was, I think it was 12 years old, I was in the Northport Movie Theater, and I was watching Disney's Swiss Family Robinson, and I fell in love with Tommy Kirk. And I <laughs> marched out of that movie theater going, I'm going to be his leading lady. That was the cement. <laughs> <laughs> And he's gay. <laughs> but Tommy, I loved you so much. You were ahead of your time. <laughs> I guess. No, everything Tommy Kirk did, I just had to watch. But, I mean, that was really it. It was just, I knew what I was going to do, but I really thought that, um, I don't know, you, you, you just, there are certain things that are oh, your... I don't know, keystones, is that the word? Where you just, you just know that this is what you're going to do and, and, it, and it, it supports it. Do you know what I mean? So well, I think anybody who wants a career in front of people better have a lot of self-belief. And, and you know what? I did. Yeah. I knew I had talent. I also knew that it was, um, it was to be given away. Mm. Interesting. What I do you mean by that? Tell us. That you do it and you give it to the audience. That's right. You don't, you're not precious with it. Do you know, like some performers who, who you know, d you, you don't give it away. It doesn't come across the footlights. Well, you know, that's one of the great things, about, I would say, about generosity. That comes across in everything you do. Mm.